Hello Zebra and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And today, we are gonna be exploring Korok Forest. Of course, we went here and got the Master Sword a long, long time ago now, like 10 episodes, maybe even more. But I never really explored the forest surrounding it and some of the quests. And then up this way, there's the Typhlo Ruins. I don't even know what's there, but it looks really mysterious. So I figured these are areas I've been meaning to explore. Might as well explore them now. And first off, talk to you, hello. Cause you had a quest for me, I think. Hey, are you the hero? Could it be? Welcome to Korok Forest. You're much, much cooler looking than I thought you'd be. Oh, thank you. But to be sure you're up to the task at hand, I prepared a trial for you. What do you think? Will, will you accept my trial? I'll do it. All right, show me a rod with the power of ice, please. Oh, I, oh, I hope I still have one. You can wave this rod to freeze monsters in their attack or in their tracks. Ice whiz robes love to wreak havoc with them. If Mr. Hero were to wield a rod with the power of ice, he would be even stronger and cooler. Do I have one? Now, where might we find an ice whiz robe? I wonder what kind of climate they prefer. Probably something very cold. Looks like I don't have one right now. I had the lightning rod, but I must have gotten rid of the ice rod because it was just taking up too much inventory space. That's a pain. But uh, yeah, the first thing I wanted to do is a lot of you were saying that if I climb to the top of the Deku tree, I might actually end up getting something. So I figured I'd try that out a little bit. I'm gonna guess it's probably a Korok seed because that'd be the most fitting thing. But I'm gonna try it. I don't know if he'll let me just climb up his face. You'd think he'd like take offense to that, but I don't know. I mean, ever had like a gnat or a fly land on your face? That's never good. That's what I'm being to him. Can I not climb over his like mustache? This might be too sharp of an incline, but I'll try my best. Come on, just get up here, Link. You can do it. Ooh, look at you go. All right, I hope you don't mind me just standing somewhere around on top of your head. Like, yep, right there. <laughs> Actually, if I could stop there for more than just a second, I don't know if I can. I, I'm, not gonna, I'm not sure if I can find that spot again. Right here. Just re still, refill my stamina. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's move this way. Hop up like that. Hold on, hold on. Okay, we're crouching. I don't know why we're crouching. There you go, Link. Got it. And we're getting there. That actually isn't too bad to climb up. I thought it was gonna be slippery because it's all just sort of misty around here, but I suppose it's not. I feel like I should be able to stand on this, but I guess it's a little too sharp. All right then, you know what I'll do real quick then? Cause I don't know if we'll make this. Got it, okay. That should make it at least a little bit easier to make it up. Especially if I can get around his horn over this way. That would be good. Come on. Come on, come on. We can make it. I hope. <laughs> I don't know, I think we're doing okay. Ready, set, jump. Got it, good job, good job. I think we can just hop up here super easy. Whoa, look at this place. Okay, there are some fairies flying around. If I could go ahead and equip some super stealth gear, that'd be awesome. I might even be able to grab one of these guys. Can I make no noise? Got it, awesome. These guys are always good to have. Hello, mmm, hi. Oh, mmm? <sighs> and I was having such a nice dream. Wait, if you're here, does this mean you want to face the ultimate trial? The ultimate trial? What's that? I'll try it. <clears throat> the ultimate trial has begun. I'll tell you a riddle about an object. Your job is to solve the riddle and bring me the correct object. Here comes your first riddle. Small, red, round, and sweet. Bring me one of those uh, of this simple treat. Small, red, round, and sweet. Have you figured it out? I'm guessing you're more something than the base of a felled tree. If you placed the right object on the leaf, I'll dance for you. Huh. Riddles of Hyrule, that sounds cool. I wonder if there's anything under all these. Can I break these? I should, yeah. I don't know if they'll get me anything. Probably not, it'd be funny if the answer is in one of these pots. But yeah, I don't know what's small, red, round, and sweet. I mean, I can take a look at my inventory. Oh, I got an acorn. I wouldn't think it's an acorn, they're sort of brown. But if I take a look, what is small, red, round, and sweet? An apple? Let's try this out. Like, is that small enough? Apple, it's an apple, yeah, okay, that's it, that's it. You got it. I thought it was looking more like a candy kind of thing. <clears throat> the next riddle is, Kakariko Village's specialty fruit. Its rock hard flesh is quite resolute. Kakariko Village. Is that? Yo, let me take my apple back. I'm glad I can take this stuff back, like I'm not getting rid of it. So I could really just put anything here and see what ends up happening. Kakariko, that's uh. Here, wouldn't that be the pumpkins? Do I still have those? Let me sort my inventory. I think it's the pumpkin. I don't think I have one right now, unfortunately. But I'll poke around. 
Doesn't look like it. These are all monster parts. I'm pretty sure he wants a pumpkin. I wish it was an easier way to get up here. Okay, well, I'll have to come back. If I don't have it, I don't have it. But that still looks really cool. Thank you to those who told me to check this out. But yeah, we wanna do a couple quests around here. I wanna sort of just like, you know, float around, look around and sort of see what we can get. I know they want me to do some kind of trial to uh, find probably just different uh, shrines or around the forest and we'll probably try to do that. I'll probably activate that quest in just a moment. Just wanna look around here, see if there's anything else I might be able to talk to or anything. This looks like a couple birds. Hi birds, bye birds. Yeah, I'm not seeing too much. So our next best bet would be to pause the game, go to our adventure log, go to side quests, and let's see, Tino Village, Rorland Village, we're looking for the uh, Korok Forest, anything Korok Forest, so it says we don't have anything, but I know that's not the case. I mean, maybe some of them are shrine quests? That could be the case as well. Um, hmm, nothing. I mean, I'm only looking at like the location of them, so maybe if I actually go through, Okay, so it's not Korok Forest, it's Great Hyrule Forest. Uh, the Korok Trials, Shio told you about the Korok Trials in the Southwest, so let's try to activate this one. And it will actually tell me where to go, which is perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. So let me just quickly travel to this one. Hopefully the learning screen won't be too long, and I'll be like wasting my time, I think it'll be fine. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, I'm super excited to explore more Korok Forest. It was a bit of a challenge getting here, of course, if you guys didn't see that episode, the episode where I got the Master Sword, check it out, it was so much fun. But now we're, you know, back. Also, I still have the four orbs that I need to use to get more stamina, most likely. But it can wait. I don't think I need the stamina at the moment. So I'll just have to keep in mind. All right. It might have been just faster to run over. <laughs> but I didn't know until I tried. Now, I don't think we're just going to be able to just jump and glide to where we need to be. Because it's sort of the thing about this forest is it's very uh, maze-like. And there have been different, you know, paths I haven't taken so far. So I just sort of have to find those paths and take them, as far as I understand. But if we take a look here, the test of wood or the forest exit shortcut. It's looking like it's telling me to go this way. This sort of looks like a beaten out path. So if I follow this, I might actually be able to go somewhere worth our while. Yeah, this is definitely something. And we just want to keep following these as much as possible. Oh, what, what could I have taken there? A little butterfly. I'm sorry, butterfly. Sure are taking you with me in my journey. Oh, frog. Frogs, I want the frogs. Ow. Oh. I guess I shouldn't run, I should just walk casually and I'll be able to sneak up on things like that, Frog. Are you ready? Hey, hero guy, I was told you'd be coming. But do you really think you're ready for the test of wood? Some say it's the hardest of the Korok trials. But it's not complicated. All you need to do is equip the Korok weapon set and reach the shrine at the back of the area. Are you ready to try it? I'm ready. All right, go get him. You have to keep the sword, bow, and shield equipped the whole time. If they break or you want to equip them, you're out. Huh? Your inventory is full. You need to make some space for a sword, shield, and a bow before we can get started. Okay, so let's take a look at that. What maybe can I drop? Oh, but I got some good stuff I do not want to drop when it comes to the shields. Uh, for the bows, I can drop that. Well, is this an open slot? Oh, I guess that's an open slot for the shield. Um, and then for the sword, I need to be able to drop something. What's my lowest damage sword right now? I mean, the 36, it's still a pretty good sword though, you know? <laughs> um. Huh. I mean, beyond that, I could always drop the hammer. Pick. It. I, I hope I can pick this stuff up later, but the most disposable thing I have is that hammer. So let's try this again. Uh, Yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready. All right, go get him. Okay, so let's try this out and see what ends up happening. I mean, I don't know if I should be using it. Like, am I supposed to defeat these opponents? If my durability matters, I might wanna hold off. I might wanna end up uh. Not doing that, maybe just taking the damage. All you have to do is reach a shrine in the back of the area. Off you go. Sure, the test of wood. This is not gonna be easy. I have a feeling. The first thing I would like to do is equip my gear. So if I go to my inventory and do this, give me the most armor possible for the moment. The test of wood, here we go. I'm a little nervous. This sounds like it could be a ton of fun, but I just don't really know where I'm going. Apparently it's just in the back, so what if I just ran? Like I just sprinted for it. Like we just got these guys trying nearby. I guess I'm heading in the right direction. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Okay, right now it's pretty easy stuff so far. Okay, whoop, no, 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 leave me alone. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna, you know what? No, 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 let's not take a selfie. Did I go the wrong way? I guess I went the wrong way. So it isn't just running, oh, I'm supposed to follow a path. So if there are fences like that, I'm not supposed to hop over them. I'm probably supposed to follow something. Uh, I got lost, sorry. 
Are you gonna give me a lecture? Oh my, hero guy, did you get lost in the mist? Do you wanna give up on the trial? I'll never give up! Never, don't even suggest such a thing. Um, let's go ahead before we get running and activate the remote bomb. That way I can like pick this thing up and then I'll just drop it and explode it and hopefully everything that's you know trailing behind me will get dealt with that way. So we'll have to be careful, like these guys right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drop, run, explode. That got him. <laughs> yeah, we're supposed to, oh wait, I think it got them. Maybe not, maybe not. Oh, here we go, here we go. Throw, explode, perfect. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, look at all these acorns, excuse me. Pardon me, got places to be. So I definitely think that it would be way smarter to conserve the weapons while I can. Okay, uh, that hopefully got a couple of them. Am I still going the right way? Seeing how there's enemies popping up, I'm gonna say yes. Oh boy, oh, oh, it's Gook, I sink in it. Why do I sink in it? Can I use Revali's Gale? If I can, that'd make things so much easier. Let's try that again, keep running, keep running. I have to be able to use Revali's Gale, right? That would be so good. We're about to find out. They could also always use Urbosa's Rage, but I thought that'd be a total waste. Come on, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. I sort of kind of know what I'm doing now, at least a little bit more. I feel like it'd be fun. I mean, I feel like I need to know where I'm going more, but I definitely think that I might, oh, and the, all the stuff on the floor is still on the floor, so this gets easier with each try. I got some free arrows there too, cool. Um, maybe I should destroy the opponents. I don't know if they'll start pe appearing again. Uh, drop this and then explode it. There we go, we definitely got a couple that time. So I gotta be careful to gook because if I land in that, it's an instant takedown. So I think you'll be the first guy I get rid of, because that doesn't seem fun to deal with. And then, oh, that works, see ya. Okay, maybe a little too high up. I need to still see where I'm going for the most part, so I don't get like knocked off the trail. Ow! So this is where I get a little worried, but I should be able to make it work. Whoa, whoa, maybe not, maybe not. Okay, I need to get this dude with the bomb arrows. Oh gosh, oh gosh, no, 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 no! Oh, that's tough. What do I do against that? I mean, maybe just keep using your Revali's Gale, but that'd be a total waste. I I'd run out of options soon enough. Ooh, that is not easy. I like it though, it's funny. <laughs> but at this rate, I don't really need the health from the gear, because they're not too powerful. I mean, eventually, yeah. But if I could choose something, is there anything that makes me run quicker? I mean, I guess not. I mean, I think eventually I'll be able to get gear that makes me run quicker, that'd be awesome. I wonder if there is, there should be. This gear that makes you run stupid fast. That'd be awesome. Uh, But for now, the best thing I can do once again is just run. I mean, these guys are still popping up. Which makes me think that, you know, I do respawn each time we do this. Uh, I'm gonna ignore you dudes. Yeah, this one misty part, I'm still sort of like figuring out. All right, you know what? Gotcha, that, that helped, that helped. These guys have ice arrows though, which is really scary. What do I do against this? I guess just climb up the part of the tree and then glide for it? Oh gosh, no, that didn't work, didn't work. Come on, get on this, get on this. Okay, good job. I guess I'm just supposed to run from one spot to the next. Come on, come up this, come up this, come up. Okay, got it, ah, oh, what's inside? Everybody stop for a second, I got myself a new sword. So I guess if like one of them breaks, I can get another one? I mean, I don't really need it. No way! That was baloney! I'm glad we don't have to pay like money to try this, because that would be like super baloney. So I do have some food that would help me run quicker, but it's just like one of those things like, do I want to use that right now? Because I might end up wasting it if I fall in there like that again. I think for now, I just need some extra health, so that would be pretty good. Okay, um. I don't think I actually, yeah, I don't have any food that would. No, this stuff right here, hasty simmered fruit. I don't want to use it too much now, but if it feels like I know how to get past some things later on, that might be helpful. I'm gonna throw that now. That was a mistake. Nobody was there. <laughs> okay, move around like this. Okay, here's our first little bat, the keys. Not really too worried about them, but I can go ahead and drop this for you. <laughs> I'd love to see Ah! Like, you know you got them. Drop this for this guy. Got him. I definitely, I saw the shadow of his little uh, skeleton just b busting into a bunch of pieces. Oh gosh. So these guys have the ice arrows, and that's really scary. But it definitely is the case that I'm supposed to like, glide like this, and even that, I don't perfectly make it. Ow, how rude, they got me right in the air. I don't know, it feels really infeasible, like why is that part the hardest part so far? <laughs> it's because they hit me right in the air. I mean, I know that I could be using some of my materials, but I feel like it would be a little silly to do. 
just because they would, they're gonna end up breaking, you know? And I think using some arrows is always nice. I have a lot of arrows, but I, I know they're still coming out of my pocket, you know? That's sort of the tough part. But I think I need to take care of those dudes that are spitting out the, uh... there we go, that should help that. Then these guys shoot the ice arrows, if I could sprint by them real quick. Come on, go, 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 go! Okay, that shouldn't be too bad now. Actually, no, there's one dude still throwing some stuff at me. Um, Where is he? Where is he? Like, there's this dude here. Oh, this is a triple shot as well? Interesting. This guy's still trying to shoot ice arrows at me. Was there only one? No, there was more than one. There's this dude right here. But he didn't really hurt me too much, and then I can do that, and then, mm, perfect. Okay, amazing. Keep going, keep going. This guy's still trying to shoot stuff at me. But if I just jump like that, I make it, so that's, Perfect, no, come on, I pressed the button to glide, it just, the shrine's right there, I saw it. Oh, okay, there's really not too much more. Should I try using Revali's scale one more time? Probably. Uh, I don't know what I should use for health right now. Okay, so we'll, I don't know if it's worth it. We'll try, we'll see what ends up happening. Look at how fast I run, holy cow. I mean, I think it uses up more stamina because of that, but I definitely move a lot more quickly. So I exactly, I saw the shrine in the distance, so I think that I should be able to, it'd be so funny if like a Hinox shows up at the very end, or the giant one-eyed thing that's like, hey, I hope those little wooden wooden bows and arrows are gonna help you out here. Oh gosh, just keep running. I'm getting a whole bunch of free arrows from this dude though, ow! And also, <laughs> he really gave one to me there. So if I were to, and I think this is gonna work, if I were to Revali's Gale right here, I can get through a huge majority of this. The only major worry is I don't want to go the wrong way. So like we hop off here. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess it didn't exactly work the way I wanted it to. Now we have no more Revali scale, and that's exactly what I was worried about. Whoa. Okay, so I gotta be worried about who's gonna shoot at me where. Which right now there's like no enemies, so I'll take it. I don't know what happened to all the enemies. Oh gosh, oh gosh, come on, we're almost there. We made it, right? We made it. Oh, go! <laughs> yeah, we made it. I don't know if I actually needed the, the fast food, but <laughs> fast food, that's a way to describe it. Congratulations, you've passed the test of wood. Well done, hero man. Happiness awaits you at the shrine. So we're definitely gonna go ahead and activate this one. Oh yeah, if you ever want to do the trial again, just let me know, see ya. No, I'd rather not. The test of wood, complete. Awesome. So there's one of them done, which means we got the Mog Holland Shrine. I can activate this, skip that stuff. And should I do it now? Yeah, let's do it now. Let's see if this is gonna actually be a shrine or if it's just a treasure chest. It'd be awesome if it's just a treasure chest, but we'll have to find out together. Okay, so, so far a, a decent start to today's episode. We got that one trial done. I'll keep on trying to work through the rest of them. And then maybe after we're done some of these trial stuff, I'll go to uh, Kokiri Forest. Yes, it's just a chest one. Um, and I'll go ahead, or the, you know what I mean, the, the town of the pumpkins and get a pumpkin. Uh, giant ancient core is gonna be fantastic. Thank you so much. No other chest around here, just making sure real quick. Get a close-up of Link, hi, Link. Uh, but yeah, that seems pretty good. Hi. It'd be cool if there was like some kind of uh, Kokiri gear that just makes you look like a Kokiri. That'd be awesome. Anyways, uh, we got that shrine done. That is perfect, which means we get ourselves another orb. We got five in total. Maybe I could actually get up to eight orbs today. That'd be awesome. We'll have to wait and see. For right now, though, Fantastic progress, for sure. Okay, so I guess we gotta head back. It'd be a lot more feasible to head back like this. I don't wanna run back from all of that, especially since I'll probably get lost again from doing it backwards and yada, yada, yada. I don't really need the ax I can, or the hammer. I can go and get that from some other place very easily. It's the most like, easily accessible tool in the game because I can get it from my house. I can get it from a number of other places, so I'm not really too worried about that. But we're back here. And that means I can go and take some of the other paths to the other trials, because I've seen other pathways, and I was like, huh, I wonder where that leads. That's not where I'm going. Um, but this time it is where I'm going. Oh, tree branch, I don't need that. <laughs> but nice to know it's there if I am looking for it. Okay, so like that area over there, is this the area? I don't know why I turn around sometimes when that happens, that's weird. Um, I think if I go this way, because I think the main path, yeah, was through that. So if we were to go through this one, whenever there's lights like this, we should be able to uh, go this way and figure a couple things out, I would hope. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be it. So I wonder what this trial is gonna be. Oh, was he the guy? Guess he wasn't the guy. Maybe it's just here. 
<laughs> Maybe we don't have to worry about it at all. Maybe it's just a shrine that I have to complete. Oh, frogs. Oh, you know what? I have frogs and stuff going around. I'm gonna go ahead and equip this stuff until I need anything else. And just walk normally. If I don't sprint, I should be able to grab some stuff if there's anything to grab anymore. Maybe I'm a little too late. Oh, hello. I guess you know who I need to talk to? Looks like it. This way to the trial. A Hylian seeks to attempt the Korok trial. Is that even allowed? Who cares? Are you the? Are you here to attempt the Korok trial? Yeah. Oh wow, you really want to try it? I guess it was worth asking after all. Let me tell you about the trial. All you need to do is keep going and not get lost in the mist. Easy, right? What's wrong? You don't look very excited. But don't worry, I've got a cryptic little hint for you. <laughs> the hungry trees will show you the way. Spy the iron to win the day. Didn't that, didn't I make that sound cool? Think about that as you take on the trial. Hungry trees will show us the way. So the trees that have iron in them. So if we really want to succeed with this, we want to keep this thing out at all times. And if I keep following the trees that have iron balls, we should be fine. So this one here. Where do we go after this? Because I actually don't see too many. But this sort of has like an obvious opening to me. The hungry trees, we got this one right here. Okay. Um, hmm. Right there, that way, okay. So I'm just gonna run to each one. We still have like 40 seconds in our sprinting food. Oh, hey, oh gosh, that's creepy. Get out of here with that. hi -ya! No, I missed. <laughs> there we go. Um, I don't need your rusty broadsword, that's for certain. Okay, uh, okay, that way, that way, that way. I see it, don't worry. So I gotta go this way, as you can see. And then there's another one this way. Okay, I feel like now I'm so, sort of starting to go in a circle. Hello, you know what? If I have this free stuff that I got from the trial earlier, ooh, that was a good shot. Gotcha, three for one deal, I'll take it. Talk about fast food. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not eating these guys. It was just supposed to be some kind of weird pun. I'm sorry. Uh. Yeah, this way, okay. We got it, we got it. It looks like that uh, speed boost ran out, but that's fine. Okay, so there's something this way, okay. And there's also something behind me. Aya! <laughs> okay, so I don't know what this is, but it might be what we're looking for. Uh, Hello. Oh, it's a shield. Well, the iron does show me the way. Whoop. These guys are luckily pretty easy enemies overall. What are you doing? Hold on. Hold on, get you out of here. There we go, not bad. And then we got this dude. Don't you dare. Get out of here, there you go. Okay, so are you gonna drop some monster parts? It looks like you dropped a little bit. Not a ton, but at least some stuff I can make some use of. Okay. Oh, so what's going on here? You can see this guy has a little thing. Feed me the aged shield guarded by monsters eternal. My brother will repay you in kind. Okay, I got it. Give him this shield. And then, put it there. Did that work? Or is that just a Korok seed? Oh, hey, look at that, okay. And is that the way to the shrine? I suppose so, I don't have a Korok leaf. Oh no, hopefully we can find one nearby because I don't have one. Oh, how much you want to bet this is a Korok leaf? I mean, maybe I could just swim? No, there's a Korok leaf in the water right there. What's this though? An amber, okay, that's that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and grab that. Oh, I can't carry any more weapons. All right, you know what I'm gonna do then? I'm gonna climb up like this. I'm gonna go ahead and I guess just toss this thing. Hiya! <laughs> don't know why I'm saying hiya a lot. I actually got it onto the other side of the island. That's perfect, so I can get rid of this when I'm done. But yeah, we should just be able to swipe across like this. And I don't know where we're going after this little island because it looks like another goal. Uh, hey, place my chest in my mouth. The shield's eater brother stole it from me. Oh no, I just opened that. Is he gonna be mad? I hope not. Okay, can we go back that way? We can. That's good. I never really use this thing too much. Glad to know it's actually quite easy to use. So what I need to do is grab the chest, put it there, and then start going this way. I hope this doesn't blow away the chest. So far it doesn't seem like it will. Okay. Ooh, whoop. 
Oh, don't use Orbosa's rage <laughs> on a boat. I think her rage should be better suited for something else. Okay, so, whoa, 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 hold on. Don't throw that on my head. And get that right here. I hope he's not mad that I took what's in it. Oh my, what is that? Is that the shrine? Okay, that's the shrine. I thought he was like, okay, here's a boss fight because I'm mad you stole my, my stuff, dude. That was my amber. Okay, well, there you go. I got the shrine, awesome. Do you have anything else to say? Nothing. The trial, the second sight, complete. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and try to get rid of this thing. Oh, you know what? Let's just go to my inventory, go here and drop it, and then pick up, no, drop it. Where, where's the sword? Here it is. Where's the shrine? This way, okay, we got it. I don't think I'm gonna need to, uh, especially since it's a little fish in the water I'd rather get. I'm like, you. Come on, come on, got it. Ooh, stealth fin trout. Consuming this bioluminescent compound that makes this fish glow in the dark will increase concentration. Dishes cooked with it will suppress noise when consumed. Well, we're already pretty silent as it is, but I'll take it. Okay, awesome, new fish. So here's another shrine. We'll check out this one and see if it's just a chest or not. Last one gave me what? Uh, I already forget. Oh, it was a giant ancient core, which is fantastic. Those things are awesome. If we could find some like interesting gear, like that always gets me excited. You know, we got that one chest and it gave us the pants that give us lightning protection. Like that is so cool. I get really excited about that kind of stuff because gear always seems to be one time. You can only get one type of gear from one place or like a store or so, you know? So that's always exciting to me. Anyways, what's in this chest? We got a, another giant ancient core. I think that's gonna be the prize every time then, which is fine. You know, they're very useful. It'll help us with the ancient gear. But uh, for now, we get ourselves an orb, which is equally as important. We only need two more to go before we have our second stamina upgrade that we'll be getting in today's episode, because we're already gonna get one. That's awesome. Okay, see you, dude. So we have one more trial left to do. I don't know if he's gonna give us a reward for the trial, but at the least, you know, we get something. <laughs> we'll make progress, which is always good. Okay, so yeah, we'll see what ends up happening. Okay, so we're back. I need to find the next path that's gonna have lights to it. Cause that usually seems to be the big indicator and I do see some lights over this way, so we're gonna follow that path. And hopefully everything goes well. I mean, so far things have been going really well in today's episode. We've been able to get everything we're looking for. So, can only hope that continues. Yeah, this should be it. It looks like it, so we'll go to it, we'll go on up and we'll have some fun. I don't think there's anything that way, that just sort of loops around the tree, so. After we do all this, if there's any other thing, like we need to get an ice rod, we need to get a pumpkin. Those two things shouldn't be too bad. I'm gonna try not sprinting through here to see if there's any kind of like uh, butterfly or frog I can grab. And there's the uh, little Korok we have to talk to probably for the uh, quest itself. Hi, going alone? I don't know. Oh, you, you're Mr. Hero, right? You're gonna do the Korok trial, yes, yes? Sure, I knew it. I'd like to ask you a favor then. My little Oki just now set off to do the Korok trial. Normally I'd go alone, uh, go along too, but Oki insisted on going alone. I let Oki go, but well, I'm just getting worried. Could you please follow Oki without being seen? I want to be sure nothing bad happens. So it's like a stealth mission, the lost pilgrimage. Interesting. So where's Oki? He's right here. The trial was this way, right? So you're worried and he hasn't even gotten like a couple feet away from you? Okay, so there he is. And I'm guessing if I'm too slow, I might end up getting his attention, so I just got a trail behind him, which would be very easy with this gear. What was that? Nothing. Oh, he's going away. Okay, so we're probably gonna have to hide behind this bush or something. If I get too close or move too quickly, but he's gonna show me the way. Everything is a-okay. Indeed it is. Oh. Okay, yeah, let's just keep going up and down. I probably wanna follow the flowers a little bit. Blue nightshade, because I'm pretty sure it's like a stealth type item. <laughs> Look at him in the in the bushes, he's hard to see. I remember this tree. Yeah, I remember it too. It looks like every other tree. That's why I remember it. <laughs> okay, come on, keep going, keep going. He's going a little slow now. I mean, he's got tiny little legs, I can't judge too much. I have to pay attention to where he is. He's gonna be easy to lose in the tall grass, so. He's gotta focus. <laughs> He's so cute though. We gotta be getting close to the shrine with how much is going off, but definitely having the skier is helpful. Okay, almost there. Almost. Come on, you can do it, dude. 
We gotta be super close. But he's probably gonna take the long way around because he seems a little silly. This is the right way! As far as he thinks, okay. He moves so slow, it's adorable. Oh, there's some honey. Hmm. Come on. Keep moving. You can do it. Try not to get too close. But luckily, I can still look at my little legs as walking about. Okay, I can't get too, too distracted. But I do want to see whatever this is. Oh, it's just a tree branch. Okay. Not too interesting, gotta be honest. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's a tree branch. Fell right next to him. Be careful there, little guy. Don't get hurt. I mean, he's like sort of made out of a tree, right? So you would think that would probably be pretty tough. So the tree branches are falling, which is gonna make it so he's gonna be looking around. So I have to be careful about that. Keep hiding in the tall grass. Luckily, he moves real slow for this part, so it, it should be fine. Getting a little too close, but at any point, you can sort of pick up the pace. Ooh, pretty flowers. Yeah, they are pretty, aren't they? Halfway, halfway there? Oh no. Oh no, I thought we were like right there. Oh gosh. We got lots more work to do. <laughs> okay, where are you going? Wherever you go, I will follow. How does that sound? All right, I'm right behind you, but not too close. Yeah, I don't have any tall grass to protect me here, so if he turns around, I'm done. Oh, 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 okay, we're good, we're good. Gotta keep moving, but once again, not too close. We almost got it, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're in, we're in the tall grass again. I feel like a Pokemon, ready to strike, but except I'm not supposed to strike. Just supposed to follow and learn. Is someone there? No, <laughs> that would be creepy. Just like, is somebody there? And you just hear a distant, no, oh, ghost! No, oh, no, 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 ghost! Wait, you're not a ghost? Were you following me? I said I could do this by myself. Oh, and now I'm not by myself again. I'll have to do it all over again. Oh, that is not cool. He ran towards me. So now that I know he's gonna get scared by a ghost, I mean, hopefully it's the same every time. But man, that took forever. I don't wanna have to do it all again. Oh, Oki saw you, huh? Oki can get a little nervous and antsy sometimes, that's for sure. Luckily, Oki is planning on going to do the trial again, so you've got another chance to stealthily follow. That's okay, right? It's okay? Good, I'm counting on you. Uh, Oki. You're a dingus, dude. So I see him. We're just gonna follow him around. The trial's this way, right? Yeah, I think he's just gonna do the same thing again. But like, oh my gosh, I can't believe he ran towards me. Because if I got up and ran as well, that would have caught me. No, I don't want to pull out my weapon. <laughs> I'm what Oki should be afraid of. That's not true. What was that? Nothing. Nothing at all. Keep walking. Maybe he just accepts that that's his conscious. Just gonna be chanting at him. Keep moving. Don't stop. Okay, see this is where he starts moving a little quickly. I mean, I don't know if I can actually let him move like super quick quick past me. Actually, where'd he go? Oh, he moved real fast, I don't know where he went. I mean, he usually, oh yeah, okay, there he goes. Ah, I remember this tree. This is where I should be okay for a little while, I hope so. <laughs> So while we have this downtime to talk a little bit, I do want to say thank you guys so much for your support now that this series has been back. I know I know I had I took like a couple week break just because June was really busy for me. But I'm glad you guys are enjoying the episodes again. I plan on buying some of these Zelda amiibos soon, just because I want to show those off, because they seem like they'd be fun. I've never bought an amiibo before, but I pre-ordered the Splatoon 2 amiibos, the new Octolings coming out. And I figured, you know what, I should probably go and get the uh, Zelda ones as well. I don't know if I'll get every single one of them, because there are a lot of them at this point that are just Breath of the Wild. But uh, I would like to eventually show them off, seeing how I'm like doing at this point, like a full playthrough of this game. Like, I never really knew, knew if I was going to or not, but at this point I've loved it so much, I really do want to continue with it. So, I mean, I don't know if we're gonna get every single thing in this game, but I want to get as close as I can get, because after this, you know, eventually once we do all the major things, I wanted to go ahead and complete the game, and then maybe even do the DLC. Basically, I just wanna keep playing this game as long as I'm having fun. Oh, the tree branch. Uh, I'm gonna, I bet if that fell on me, that would reveal me. That's probably the idea. So we gotta be careful, we wanna go a little bit this way. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I'm just gonna keep playing until, you know, as long as I'm having fun. 
And right now I'm having a lot of fun, so sounds pretty good. Okay, so this is where things get tough. We have to follow them through the thing. But that shouldn't be too bad. What is a bit of a pain is that he's gonna get scared and turn back. So I think we just wanna stay in the tree trunk for a little while. We know that he does exactly the same thing. And that we're halfway there. Like, that's not fair. I feel like I've traveled so far following this dude. So now that I know he's gonna fall back, I don't have to follow him as closely. I don't know how far he's gonna run, though, is the thing. Oh boy, don't turn around. So when I'm about here, I'm gonna go ahead and just wait. And he should get scared by a ghost. Oh boy. Where's that ghost at? Where's that ghost? Oh, there we go. Is, is someone there? Oh, the mist is starting to pop up a little bit, though. Ah, uh, ghost, so he's gonna start running back this way. How far is he running? Okay, just right here. No, there's no ghost, don't worry. He's like ready to fight, he's got his branches up and ready. Okay, so I don't know what happens after this, so we need to sort of, oh, it was just a shadow. <laughs> it was my shadow, stalking in the night. But I just need to hide behind trees, sort of be ready for him to do that again. Because I'm sure he's going to. There's gonna be more shenanigans. I know there's going to be. This isn't so bad. Okay, so he's getting his, oh, oh, you heard nothing. He must have heard me get up there a little bit. He's looking around this tree at the moment. What is he gonna do? Yeah, he's just sort of checking this tree out. But why? No, 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 go back here. I don't know if he actually heard me or not, or if just this is just the path he's supposed to take. Cause he's just going around the entire tree. Okay, I just gotta watch his little question mark. As long as I can see that. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Well, where'd he go? Oh my gosh, where'd he go? Oh, he's this way. I'm not scared one bit. That scared him, I was like, no, did I really lose him? He just, he picks up the pace so quick sometimes. Crazy. Okay, I'm a little bit scared. Oh, poor guy. I'm gonna hide right about here. He starts going slow again. Oh, woof, am I supposed to protect him? Got him. Wait, that wasn't enough. Okay, they're running. Oh, they're coming back. I need a better bow. Why do I have this one equipped? Help me, Mr. Hero. Okay, I'm helping you. Gotcha. He, okay, where'd he go now? Is he still over, what, 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 what? No, 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 no. Oh gosh, where is he now? Is he moving? Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Right there. No, I missed him, don't do that. Oh my gosh. Does he know I'm here or not? He said, help me, Mr. Hero. Okay, he's moving that way. It was about to warp me away as well. I went into like the wrong little space, I suppose. I'm almost there. He must know I'm here though. He said, help me, Mr. Hero. Huh, I don't know. Come on, no more wolves, please. There it is, okay. Come on now, you can do it. This is where a Hinox is gonna show up. That'd be so awful, but also really funny. Okay, he's right there. Aha, that's the shrine. Just gotta be careful. Be careful, buddy. Oh no. There's gonna be some skeletons that pop up. Look at how big and open this area. This is for fighting. Hey, you made it. I don't trust this one bit. Not one bit. Oh boy. Oh, I finally made it. Okay. Let him have his moment to rejoice. Oh, is that it? Uh, I don't know. I mean, he's just dancing, so maybe I could go up to him. Yay, I made it, I finished the trial. What, who's there? Hey, are you that hero guy, you know, Mr. Hero? Guess what, Mr. Hero, I did the trial all by myself. Aren't I brave? 
Oh yeah, you're probably here for the shrine. The great Deku tree said that the monk's blessing was waiting in that shrine ahead. Why don't you go take a look? Sure. What else do you have to say? Now that I finished a trial, I'm in the I'm the real deal. Hee <laughs> hee. Awesome. Maybe you're Mr. Hero. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and check this out. This should be pretty cool. I mean, it might just be another chest with a giant ancient core, but that's fine, because once again, we need that stuff to build some of the ancient gear, so it'll be great to have. That one was tough, though. That one was actually probably the most difficult out of the three trials so far, because we had that one, and then we had the other one, and then the other one. <laughs> I don't know what I'm recalling right now. Anyways, another chest for us. Uh, it is the Jag Choka's Blessing. And it has a giant ancient, no, just an ancient core. I guess the game disagrees. That's supposed to be the easy one and only gives me an ancient core. But hey, I don't care because that's our seventh orb. It means we only need to get one more. We can also talk to the guy back at the village and hopefully he'll give us something for completing all the trials. Uh, but yeah, awesome stuff. We got a spirit orb. That's number seven. Okay, so let's get to it. We're gonna go back and get a reward. Okay, so we're back in the main forest and he should just be right over here, so we're gonna go and talk to him and see how things are going. This area is so laggy all the time, I don't know why. Oh, oh hey, look, you have a quest for me. It's, 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 it's Mr. Hero! Yay, Mr. Hero came to visit us in the forest! What took you so long? Peeks thought, uh, Peeks thought of a trial that would make Mr. Hero stronger. You won't have to fight, and it's not scary, but you'll need to be extra careful, so I wanna see a bloopy. It's a blue, glowy, hoppy thing that glows in the dark. Just about peak size. I, I just really want to see a bloopy, even if it's just a picture of one. I'll help you out. I know you are a nice guy, Mr. Hero. Thanks for listening to Peak's requests. So I don't know where they live, but I heard there are little blue glowing critters hopping around Hyrule. Apparently they're called bloopies. I wonder how glowy they are. Aren't you curious? I think we've seen these before, but we haven't really uh, taken a picture of them for sure. If you show me a bloopy, I'll be sure to thank you with a gift. Good luck. Okay, so there's another quest, the Legendary Rabbit Trial. Amazing. What, you finished all of the trials? <laughs> That's amazing, you're so cool. Ah, I know that look. You want to give, you want me to give you something since you visit all the places, don't you? I guess I have no choice. I'll give you my treasured item. Big hearty truffle times three. Years of going unpecked have allowed this hearty truffle to grow quite large. It's chock full of nutrients. When cooked into a dish, it temporarily increases your maximum hearts. Try eating a dish cooked with that big hearty truffle. It'll soothe you of all of your aches and pains and then some. I'm not pulling your branch here. Just try it yourself. Yeah, I've tried one of these before. Correct trial is complete. I guess the completion of the trial is the real reward. But that being said, we could try some of these other quests, but I don't really know if I could do too many of them. Most of them are just going to go and get something else. So let's take a look at that. We'll go to our adventure log, try the Great Hyrule Forest quests. We got a lot of quests complete at this point. It's awesome. Um, Great Hyrule Forest, legendary rabbit trial, the riddles of Hyrule, Kakarot Village specialty fruit, yep and then Ice Wiz Robes. So I know where to get a couple of those things. First off, we'll do the Ice Wiz Robes thing because that one's a little bit out of the way. I need to go here. We need to get, what gear is good for ice? Uh, This, that, that. Yeah, I guess not the warm dublet. Okay, so we can try that out and then we can, what? I think it's over this way. It's in the Heber Mountains. Just trying to remember which one. Because there was a lot of stuff in the Heber Mountains. And I guess there weren't many shrines I found in the Heber Mountains, unfortunately. Maybe the Makara Shrine? Let's try this one out. Because I remember there specifically was a shrine with ice dudes jumping around it. Maybe I never actually got it, but I'm pretty sure I did. So we're gonna find out together and move on with that. That'll be good. Okay, so once we find that, we gotta go to the Kokiri Village and get the pumpkin, which I should just be able to buy one. I'm pretty sure from the, like the guy gave me a pumpkin, I must have used it for cooking. But once I do that, I wonder what he's gonna ask for next. I don't know. So this is not the one I was thinking of, I'm pretty sure. But it is definitely cold here. I mean, there's these guys, Ice Chews. Hi, bye. Hmm. Now I'm a little confused. Yeah, now I remember this one. I remember it being over this way, but for whatever reason, I don't have yeah, weird, I don't have anything over here. So I must have not have gotten the actual thing. And this is actually over here, maybe this one. 
Actually, maybe I'm totally wrong. Because I feel like I found it when I was trying to find the Yiga Clan hideout, so it might be this one. Yeah, I might be getting that mixed up. Let's try this one out and see if there's any of the ice dudes there, because if so, perfect. There's definitely been a couple blood moons since I've last done this one, so it should be something. We'll find out together, see how that goes, and then get the pumpkin. So this is the shrine I was thinking of, but unfortunately I don't see any ice, ice guys jumping around. That doesn't mean that there won't be anywhere nearby. There definitely could be. But it is weird that they're not here anymore. Oh, this little wolf is taking a nap. Are you gonna attack me? Oh, you're gonna attack me. I might as well get to you first. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I mean, they actually take a good amount of damage. But yeah, I don't see any of the ice guys around here right now. Oh, raw gourmet meat, that's perfect. But if we poke around here for a little bit, I'm sure we'll find something. Like maybe some guys up here. Like, I mean, we'll definitely find enemies. It's just if it's the right kind. It's just gourmet. I'm pretty sure this is also gourmet. Which means this is all 100 rupees each. Really nice finds. Then I might, uh, I guess I can just use this to break these because I don't really need this weapon. I know it's badly damaged. Uh, I probably shouldn't do this. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> uh, that was a really powerful weapon to use that way. Get some of this stuff though. Free stuff is always good. You just won't pay for a 69 damage. Uh, strong blade or whatever it's called. Oh, we got more of them. There's a lot of them. Oh, if I could get you guys, that'd be really good. Did I just get a two for one? Wow, I didn't see that. I've never seen that happen before. Got him. All right, is this gourmet though? One of them is. So that's really good. We're getting hundreds of rupees just by doing that. I feel awful doing it. Like these guys, I mean, they are like howling so that they can attack me, but at the same time, I don't know. I just feel like I shouldn't. <laughs> like they're just animals. I'm an animal. I know what that's like. It ain't cool. Oh, hello. What do you want? Yeah, I, I didn't think so. Okay, let's just knock you over again. Okay, what weapon do I have for you? I mean, I could actually just do the Guardian Spear, start jabbing you, just like that. And then we could, I don't wanna use it too much, but we can at least slice you like that a little bit, because you're an icy Lizalfos. You have a nice ball I don't need. I mean, I don't think I need it. I mean, I could, at the least, I can drop that. I don't need that. And then I don't, oh, I never picked up my shield. No, I actually had this slot already. Well, if I find a better shield than that, I'll take it, but I won't need it for right now. Okay, so let me just quickly make sure I have that equipped. And yeah, I don't really know what we want to do about this right now. These guys have a lot of health. Is that guy running? I guess he is. I feel awful taking him out if he's running away. Okay, you know what, I should get the snow boots. I don't know why I haven't done that. That'll help me run faster in the snow. Uh, Where are they? Right here. Okay, perfect. So I know there are enemies up here, but they're not, hello, goodbye. But they're not the, the, the icicle guys. I might have to look somewhere else, but I'd rather not have to. I feel like if there's, what is behind me? Is it still that guy? It's still that guy. I don't care much for him, gotta be honest. Oh, there's a green dragon. Ooh. Maybe we could try that out instead then. I don't know what's the best way to get to him. I mean, I could just try to glide up to him. But as you can see, it's not really working out too well. I've been looking for him though. If I could just go like this and try to get up to him, I don't know if the winds are gonna blow me up to him. It looks like he's a little too far gone. I wish I realized, I guess whenever this music plays, it means he's nearby. Darn, that stinks. I wish I could have gotten to him. Hmm, so I'm seeing lots of enemies, but not only the guys I was looking for. Come back, dragon, I need your scale. I mean, I'm not really too much in a rush to get the scale because, oh my gosh, this might actually get him. Let's see, boom, that did pretty well. I mean, it could have done better, but like, oh, who did that? Avalanches, oh, that almost got them. Oh, there's a chest down there waiting for us too. Okay, you know what, let's get you first. Got him, oh, that was a great takedown. You should be dropping some arrows too. You didn't drop any arrows. What a letdown. Go ahead and get, oh, I can't believe I missed you. They're just settling back down. Like, okay, that rock squished our friends. Why move places? <laughs> Why would I do that? That doesn't sound like a good idea. Okay, let's go ahead and do this move. Ready? hi -ya! Oh, I missed you. Ow. Okay, fine. Oh, that actually hurt you. I guess it does reflect all the damage it would have done to me back at you. Okay, got some of this at the least. You didn't drop any arrows either. Come on, dudes. That's why I attack you guys for free arrows. <laughs> I got my arrow back, which I guess is okay. I got this spear, which is what? 
15 damage really isn't all that great, but I'll take it. Definitely don't need that Boko Bow. But for now, let's go ahead and yank this thing out. And what do we get inside? We get purple rupee, that's worth it. Okay, I'm glad we got that. So I'm still not seeing any of the ice whiz robes. I might just have to try somewhere else. Oh, hello, I'm, I'm ignoring you guys. You guys are just getting the uh, no, attention, no attention treatment. But I don't see any, so at this point, I might as well let it go. I'll try for you. I didn't take you out. These guys, I feel like they have more health than normal. This guy is still right behind me. Couldn't care less, just gonna keep running. Keep moving, because I move pretty fast in the snow. We got some luminous stones that are always nice, but once again, not really what I'm looking for, especially since I don't have my ax at the moment, my hammer. So I think I'm about to give this in. Okay, I tried, I tried. Let's move over to, usually there are some different wizard robes you can find here in this shrine. Like in this area, we found a couple of awesome wizard robes, and we took them out relatively easily, so that should be fine. Okay, so the last time I was here, we found all three types of uh, stuff. Also, I wanna change my gear up real quick. Uh, we'll do the stealth gear again. I like wearing this one. One thing I think it looks, Link looks pretty cool in it, but then on top of that, uh, it'll help us sneak around a little bit more, of course. The obvious advantage. Can we get up here? Please let us get up here, thank you. And I just wanna need to search around because there's all these big tree trunks, so it can be hard to really see where we're trying to go. And like, where might be the best place? Cause like, what do you have? Do you have the ice or the lightning? You have the lightning. There's the fire one. I think the ice one's over this way. Revali, help me out with this one. Okay, maybe that's not the case. But he's gonna be around here somewhere. Like, there's the fire one. There's the lightning. There's the ice. Okay, so this might be a blizzard one, but I hope it's all in the same. That's why I didn't want to go for this guy initially. Okay. Okay, so we, ow, got him a little bit, but I need to get him again soon. Come on. Got him, okay, so I got his stuff. I'm gonna grab that blizzard rod. Hold on, I gotta drop something. Uh, Drop that, pick up the blizzard rod. Are you serious? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Got it, see ya, I'm leaving, goodbye. Uh, so okay, quickly, let's go to Kakariko Village, right here. Awesome, see ya. <laughs> like, where, 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 where is he going? Oh, I was gonna beat him up. He was gonna be my dinner. No, my dinner just turned to dust. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that should be pretty good. Uh, after the pumpkin, we'll go back to the village. I feel like the village is fun to explore for sure. I just really hope that the little Korok will be happy with this one. He'll be like, hey, this isn't the one I was looking for. I was looking for the other one. That's harder for me to find right now, right? I guess we'll find out. Okay, so here we are at the Talon Neg Shrine. We found this one. This is one of the first shrines we found, I guess. I mean, one of the first, like, 10 to 15 of them. It's just crazy how long ago we found this village. I mean, obviously, we're supposed to find it pretty early on, but still, the idea stands. I might have to rest by the fire, but you know, while we're here, I can at least get a little extra stamina. So I need four or orbs for a stamina vessel. Yep, yep, yep. Just, just because we're here. And there we go, we get it. That should give me a little extra stamina. And that's always useful. I think that we could you know, afford to have three stamina bars before we go back to earning up more health. Okay, stamina vessel, awesome. Look at that, making our way into their third one if I get one more orb. Soon enough I'll get that. For right now though, I'm just going to rest until morning because I don't know if the pumpkin seller's out. I mean, I could just go into the shop and see, but might as well just wait until the morning. Can't hurt. And then we are good. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, chicken. Okay, so uh, I think she'll just sell the pumpkins. I would sure hope so, but she doesn't. Maybe it's actually carrots. Or do they sell carrots or pumpkins? I'll just take a couple carrots. Okay, 48 rupees is actually a little expensive for that lady, but uh, I'll do that. I'll go to the pumpkin guy and see if I can't get him to sell me a pumpkin. If not, I, I know he tells me I can go somewhere to get it. Just don't know where that is. Also, is there any gear in here that I haven't bought yet? Because if so, I want to get it. No, it's just healing gear, highly in gear, and the uh, stealth gear. So I don't have to worry about that too much. I do have to talk to you, though, sir. Uh, you get in big trouble if you take it without permission, or you come back when the owner is here. Are you serious? Where is he? I need him to be here now. I'm impatient. I'm pretty sure it's the pumpkins. 
Well, there's a fire right here. We can just sleep again. Just sleep around until he's, you know, he shows up. Sit by the fire until noon. Okay. Hopefully he'll be there. I, I would think so, right? Uh, hello. Oh, there he is. There he is. So, hey, dude. I need to talk to you. Rain won't stop me. Did you enjoy the fortified pumpkin? Yeah. Fortified pumpkins make you stronger. I asked the old lady to keep them cooking so I can eat some every day. Cooking? Use a fortified pumpkin in your cooking to make a dish as firm as my abs. <gasps> Food like that will increase your defense. Putting lots of fortified pumpkins in the dish is key. Go on, experiment a bit. But uh, can I grab this? Oh, I can just buy it. That'll cost 20 rupees. I'll take it. All right, can I get this one as well? I'll just get two just in case. Okay, so we got those. Very, very nice. So now what I wanna do is head on back to the forest, just like that, and see how things go. This has actually all been taking a bit more time than I was expecting. I want to go ahead and check out that area to the north of the of the forest, but we might not have enough time in today's episode. We'll have to wait and see. I know we've been waiting through a lot of loading screens as well, so I don't want to, you know, make this too drawn out. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. Maybe I can spend an extra couple of minutes just sort of making my way up there, and then we can start exploring in the next episode. Because who knows what could be up there? It could be the uh, destination for the next dragon scale, and that would be perfect because that's just another thing I need to do. But for now, we're gonna head this way and talk to a couple dudes. First off, we need to, we won't need to climb that tree, but if I could, Mr. Hero, oh here's his, whoa, 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 is that an ice rod strapped to your back? Yes it is, check it out. Looking cool, right? Is that a blizzard rod? Incredible shimmer, unbelievable sparkle. Thank you, Mr. Hero, your weapon is so amazingly, wonderfully sparkly. I must give you something as thanks. Whoa, ho, ho, gold rupee clink sparkle. So that was definitely worth all the effort of freezing rod, complete amazing stuff. So I don't know where we're gonna find the little glowy rabbit. I know we have actually found it around Kakariko Village, but I don't know if that's really what we wanna do. But now we get to utilize this extra stamina we got to uh, climb up Mr. Tree here. Going from here, I should be able to get some footing right about here, I would hope. Yep, perfect. So let's let our stamina restore real quick. I should be able to climb up a good chunk of this again, but I could also wait here, let it restore. Got it. I feel like the, the second and third bars definitely go down a little bit quicker. Maybe that's wrong. Now that I'm actually seeing this when, it, when, I, when I'm jumping around. Pretty easy to climb up from here for sure though. Okay, keep moving. We're almost there, almost at the top, we made it. Grab that, oh, I missed it. <laughs> Oh well, not that big of a deal. I already have a couple fairies. Hey, so I got the pumpkin for you if you want to have it. I mean, you don't even want to have it, you just want to see it, which is pretty cool. Okay, so hold this and drop it. Fortified pumpkin, that's it, that's it. You got it. <clears throat> the next riddle is, this sultry shroom will warm your bones. It makes its home in warmer zones. Sultry shroom, shroom, so it's a shroom that'll warm your bones. Like this one, sun shroom. Power of heat, try it out. Sun shroom, that's it, that's it, you got it. <clears throat> Next riddle is, its scales and tail will zap you no doubt. This, this shocking swimmer is called a fish. So it's like an electric fish. First, I thought he was gonna tell me to get the scale of the dragon. I'm like, oh, wow, that's a, that's a right hook. Um, Staminoka, Sizzlefin. Organ, especially strong heat. No, Sizzle isn't heat. Not like Sizzle isn't like electrocuting me. Stealthfin, Mighty Carp, Mighty Porgy. Oh, we don't really have too many different fish. Ooh. Okay, let me talk to you again. Can you give me that hint again? <sighs> its scales and tail will zap you, no doubt. This shocking swimmer is called a fish. If you think you know the answer, I don't think I have it. Okay, well, I'll have to figure that one out later. But yeah, I guess we'll just try to find an electric fish at some point. If we wanted to continue onwards, I definitely wanna head, head in this direction. And to do that, what might be best is just to use Rivali, Rivali scale at the least, um, and head this way. Whoa, look at how high up we can get off this tree, it's crazy. Like altitude wise, this might be one of the highest points. I mean, I guess this, I mean, actually that might not be true. There are some really tall mountains. Don't know why I would even think that. 
But if we head this way for a while, hopefully we can get to the rim of this. It might just teleport me. Oh, it does. Oh, that's sort of stinky. Okay, so we had to make our way there, but that was a waste of always, Gail. I wish you could do that, though. Now that we've like sort of found the way there, where does it start me? Back in the center of Quark Forest. Okay, then the most reasonable way to get there would probably be through the Shade Mo Shrine. Because all the other ways, like they just wouldn't work as well. But I definitely want to poke around in that area because like I really think it might be where we might find our next like major thing or something. I don't know. It's just like, sort of the biggest point in the map I haven't explored at all yet. That and like some outskirt islands on the edges of the map. I feel like are the like big plots of land I haven't stepped foot in whatsoever. So if I could get here, maybe even find a shrine, so that's where we can start next episode, that'd be amazing. But we'll have to get there and find out. So we're at this shrine, I need to immediately pause the game because I'm gonna start burning. Come on, quickly, quickly, quickly. Got it, okay. So I'm paused, let me go ahead and equip that. Oh, the sorting is wrong, there you go. Then when it comes to my gear, I want to go ahead and remove that. I should be fine here, should be fine here. So I don't have anything that's burning up. Which direction do I need to head? I need to head this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one of these there. I really wish I had, oh hello. Oh, you know what? You know what, I'm not interested. Leave me alone. But uh, I really wish I, I still had Rivali's Gale, but I should be able to make like what I have work. So I'm not too worried. But yeah, let's get to it, see what ends up happening. Oh, go across, got it, okay. Now some of these mountains are pretty high up, so once we get to like a higher peak, we should be able to just glide. We we'll to be careful of the lava, because that could be something we end up landing in. For right now, I'm just sort of following this formation of the uh, pattern over this way. Okay, got here. And as long as I'm jumping from thing to thing pretty well, I should be fine. Oh gosh, actually, there's a lot of lava this way. Am I gonna be able to make this? Should I go from a different direction? If I go across from here to there, I should be fine. Okay, go for it. Ah, uh, scary! Over to this giant pit of lava. I feel like I'm in, you know, the last world of a Mario game. Okay, I <laughs> just smacked into the wall. Watch out for that cliff. Okay, we got it. So now, I just gotta go this way, and from here it should be pretty good. There's no more lava in my way, so it should just be gliding there. Hopefully, <laughs> we'll see. I don't know how much I'm gonna do there, but if uh, my thing starts going off because of shrines, that'd be perfect, because then I would know where I can sort of adventure to stop. But for now, like, is there anything interesting in the lava pool? I'm like, I'm sure that somewhere in this giant lava pool there's a shrine. I'd have to imagine. But for now, it's not in my worry. Because like, look at this whole area that has like nothing for me, like no shrines, no nothing. I mean, compared to everywhere else, like maybe the top of Hebra Mountains over this way, or is this Hebra? This is Gerudo Highlands. At the top of Gerudo Highlands, some of the top peaks of like Hebra Mountains, and then like everywhere else has like a good dot of uh shrines, except for like this island over here, and maybe like some more of the southern side of Gerudo. Like there's only a couple spots I need to explore in more depth than I have. And is that a shrine I found? Yeah, this is a shrine. Yeah, that's the one of the uh, shrines I have found in the past, but I can't get that one. It would probably just teleport me away, so I don't want to waste my time with that. Instead, I'm just trying to go from peak to peak. So it'll be sort of easier that way, for sure. But I have to avoid basically all of the village there, or it'll teleport me somewhere I probably don't want to be. That would stink. So, uh, gotta be careful. I'm definitely starting running out of places to glide without having to climb up more. But that wouldn't really be too time intuitive. The thing is about this area is it doesn't look like, like here you can see there's trees in the way. Here it looks like they don't even look like trees because you can see trees under that. This is like a cloud or something, you know, the blue. But we're gonna find out because like I put it right at like the entrance area. So we'll know when we're there. Oh yeah, look at this, this is just shrouded in darkness. Weird, I don't know what this area is about. What we're on a find here, it might be awful. But hopefully I can just find like a shrine in, the, in that mess. I don't know. Well, let's run this way for now. I mean, I don't need this gear on anymore, so I could actually go ahead and get some other stuff. Let's re-equip this shield. Let me go ahead and get this stuff back on, so, because it shouldn't be, yeah, all that hot around here. There are some enemies we can tackle on our way by one and two, which I always want to. So usually means more free stuff. But yeah, this is where stuff gets weird. Like what is going on with all of that? That is definitely what we're gonna be exploring next episode. 
I don't know. Maybe we can find like Dark Link there or something. That'd be cool. Okay, let's try to get you a little bit. Yep, you don't see me. Dang it, that didn't take him out. I was hoping it would. Oh no, he's definitely gonna tattle on me. Are you seriously gonna tattle on me, dude? I mean, what are they gonna do? They're gonna run all the way down this mountain to take me out? By the time they do that, I'm gonna be on the top of it, so. Oh, he has some friends over this way. Okay, you know what? You do what you want. I'm just gonna, I feel like, do I have like a not very strong bow equipped? 38 damage, should be pretty good. I guess the enemies are just getting more difficult because usually that one shots them. I mean, maybe it's because I'm not landing a headshot. Oh, don't drop your stuff all the way on the floor. Okay, well, at least I'll get some arrows out of it. I can also drop this. What, what damage is this? Uh, 26, not really that great, but it's better than the uh, Boca Bow I just had. So they're gonna be everywhere. They're gonna be freaking out like, oh gosh, he's here. We found him, It's a hero. There we go, got him. If I could take care of the uh, guys blowing the horns first, that'd be perfect. Because I get some arrows out of it. I think those were bomb arrows, maybe? Hard to tell. There's another one up this way. So this guy even knows I'm here as well. Like the one guy that I hit in the face when I was gliding down is like still really upset. I mean, I'd be upset too. Oh, that was a pretty good one. Okay, so let's get up there as much as I can. Okay, yeah, it's just right here. And that has some more bomb arrows, perfect. Don't you dare. Gotcha. Okay, so they clearly know I'm here. Cause like they hear these guys playing their horn and then suddenly, silence. Oh, let me get some of these bugs. Cause they're just everywhere. And they don't really see me when I'm just normally walking. Cause of how sneaky I am. So this dude's the last guy. The guy I started with is the guy we're finishing it with. He's probably just like dreading it. He knows I'm on my way. Here's all of his friends getting taken out one by one. I'm a monster. They call me a hero. Not even close. Okay, hey. Oh gosh, oh, I wanna get your stuff though. You might not even have any arrows left, but I gotta check. Oh no, you got some bomb arrows. So we just got like 15, 20 bomb arrows, that's great. Oh, get this butterfly, there we go. <laughs> We're also just an avid bug, bug collector. Okay, so let's get back up here. Got it, okay, so let's let this fill up, but then I can just sort of continue on. I don't really know where the proper entrance to this place is, so I'll just start to scope it out. But sometimes with these little places, it can be better to not find the main entrance, but to get to the top and sort of sneak up on them. That can be tough in this situation. I hear some growling that didn't sound so friendly. I think that's Lizolfos maybe making that noise, but we'll have to be careful. I don't think anybody knows I'm here right now. They sort of ignored the calls, or they sort of forgot about them. Okay, nothing yet. Oh my, whoa! Whoa, see you, dude. Hold on, he's gonna get mad. So we're gonna go ahead and switch. Oh, I don't have any ice arrows, actually. Go ahead and do that, I'm gonna run up on him, and then we're gonna smack him with something good. We got the 70 damage Royal Claymore. I'm gonna go ahead and just start swinging at you with this thing. Oh gosh, I missed. I'm like knocking him around because he's made of ice at the moment. Got him. Okay, you know what? Uh. Got it. Okay, so he's electrocuted. I need to just go ahead and swing at him with this thing. Look at it, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt real bad. Oh gosh, don't fall off, because if you fall off, I have to chase after you. Oh, you missed, you missed, dude. You still have so much health. Okay, we finally got you. Holy cow, don't don't let your stuff fall. Oh, we got a lot of good stuff for that one. What weapon did he drop? Did he not have a weapon? Did I just like quickly grab it? I don't really know. We have the blizzard rod, though, and I would like to use that a little bit, but there's just more of these dudes. Holy cow. Oh, I'm scared. Um. What should I use? I should probably just use a normal arrow and just sort of make him mad. Got him. Okay. He's gonna start going for me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I thought I was gonna fall. Look, there's my arrow. See ya, arrow. I definitely need to buy more arrows soon. I don't know if he's chasing me or not, but this is intense. Three of these guys. And we've never even ran into one of these before. I was not prepared for this. Okay. Like, I don't wanna knock you off yet. Okay, hold on. I don't think you have a weapon at the moment. I don't think any of these three had a weapon. Weird stuff. Boom, not bad, don't, thank you. So I'm gonna hit you like that. I'm gonna go ahead and try to freeze you. Perfect, look at this. So now we should be able to hit you a couple times with something like this. It's a little bit weaker, but we can hit it a lot more often. It's badly damaged, so if I could just toss it at you, that was pretty good. And then we have the Master Sword, of course. We can go with this a little bit until it breaks. I mean, I do have to be careful, because these guys are not gonna hit lightly, and I don't have much health, so I think I go should go ahead and equip something 
It's only one guy left. So I don't want to go super crazy, which is why I just ate like my highest health bonus weapon or thing. <laughs> I don't know, I'm silly, I guess. So is there anything I can use to break this without it being a waste of a uh, weapon? I guess this Boko Club is sort of the best thing. I mean, it does 45 damage, but compared to the other stuff I have, you know, and this one's like one of the most easy to get. Okay, so he's he doesn't know I'm here yet, but he's gonna find out soon. I'm gonna try to lure him this way, try to make him, oh, look at you, you are decked out. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit you with that. We're gonna freeze you good. We're gonna hit you with the double 70. Awesome, and then he's down for a couple seconds. So now's my chance to, you know, let's go jabbing with the, the Royal Hal Halberd before he pulls up the shield again. And that's when we go ahead and freeze him. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the double 70 one more time. Cause when we do the jump slam, okay, if you're gonna be down there, I wanna go ahead and try to damage you. Oh, that actually, you actually blocked that. Look at you. Oh, he doesn't know I'm behind him. No, he does. He just takes a while to turn around cause he's so huge. He's gargantuan. Um, go ahead and freeze him and then just go for this. Okay, oh, he dropped his stuff. Yeah, we got all three of them. How amazing was that? Okay, so the royal shield is obviously better than this shield, so I'm gonna have to drop it. And then what do we got here? The royal broadsword. It's the same damage, which is a little disappointing. Um, but we'll grab it. Why not? I'm a little disappointed by that. Okay, so that's just the shield we just dropped for this. Okay, so we have two chests up here. I gotta check out what these are. Oh, and there's the red dragon again. So obviously the red dragon still exists, even though I got his thing. I don't know why I was thinking that isn't the case. I was sort of surprised to see him. But we got a ruby out of that one. And then this one right over here, we have a sapphire. Very cool. So you know what? We'll probably leave it at that. We just conjured up this amazing tower and got some really cool rewards for it. And it was super tough, but definitely, definitely worth it. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Zebra Korok. So I know you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra Tastic Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.